YouTube video now. Whatever are you reading, John? Oh, I'm reading... This is somebody we met in 1980. And what did she do? Well, she was a food editor for New York Magazine. And she was at a party we went to in New York in which I had to cook the salad. And uh, so I produced the salad and uh, Jerry, you had to go up to drive in a limousine down to uh, Chinatown to pick up takeout. You brought that back and the party started and, and it was a quite a, a festive event and um, everyone was drinking and it was um, a marvelous affair. And uh, this lady was sitting down at the coffee table. Gail Green was sitting at the coffee table. And um, it turned around and said, all I want to know is who made this damn salad? And everyone kind of looked at me and she said, good, damn good. She was food editor for a New York magazine, and as a consequence, several years after that, I would tell everyone well, my food had been reviewed by the food editor of New York magazine. That was quite a party. Yeah, it was. It was quite a party. That's, that's the one where... Um... Oh, yeah, and, and the, the, the zinger of the whole story was that uh, our friend who was doing the party, Ramar Sutton, he uh, was counting on his buddy, George Plimpton, to show up to impress his publisher. He, it was an impress your publisher party. So, but however, he called up, George called up in the afternoon and said, sorry, Freddie's booked me into another party. And so our friend Ramar was really upset and sad about that and, and, and out of sorts. But a friend of his called up and said, can I bring my date? And he said, well, yes, 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 uh, whatever, yes. And his, he showed up and... Uh, there was a, a whole bunch of people there at the party and all these New York uh, personalities. And there's a tiny little kitchen. And uh, there uh, you were in the kitchen and talking to uh, this friend of, of Ramar's date and showing raccoon pictures and bird pictures of you in the backyard. And uh, uh, it was later on that we found out that that was Christy Hafner from Chicago. <laughs> Or real, it did impress Ramar's publisher. <laughs>